On October 29, 2012, the worst storm in New Jersey history made direct landfall to our shoreline, wreaking havoc from the Bayshore area down through the coastal communities of Monmouth County. Several months after Superstorm Sandy left her mark, it's still easy to point to the path of destruction. We're here in Belmar, mm -hmm. which was one of the hardest hit towns. And, you know, every, every town along the coast, you, we have 27 miles of coastline in Monmouth County, you know, and every sure. town has a special story to tell. And each story is perhaps more devastating than the next. You know, Manasquan had uh, a lot of sand and debris uh, in their streets, a lot of oceanfront homes. And we were uh, up in Belmar, the boardwalk, Spring Lake, the boardwalk. You get up into the Bay Shore, and just a tremendous amount of just uh, homes up, up in Union Beach and Kingsburg and Port Monmouth area, you know, with, with damage from the Raritan Bay. We are aware of the damage that Superstorm Sandy left behind how it scarred the Jersey Shore as fierce winds and record storm surge lifted homes off of their foundations, blew boardwalks apart, and created total beachfront devastation. The way the foundation washed mm -hmm. out and, and the way we see some of the houses here in terms of uh, the, how their windows and doors were blown out and their rooftops yeah. and stuff, I think that explains a lot about the velocity of the, the, right. the, the, the ferociousness of the storm coming in at 13 and a half feet. We are aware of the situation in the Bayshore area, where many homes went unaccounted for and cars and boats were swept away. And we are aware of how trees were uprooted and blown down all across Monmouth County, which caused massive power outages for days and in some communities even weeks. What we need to be fully aware of, though, is the vital role that the Monmouth County Office of Emergency Management, run through the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office, had before, during, and after Superstorm Sandy. This storm obviously was, you know, one of those storms that we've never seen before. And that's why several days prior to the storm, Monmouth County's OEM, led by coordinator Mike Opegard, was in constant contact with all of the local OEM coordinators and the New Jersey State Police OEM to discuss planning and preparations. Our planning is, is ongoing all the time, so we're constantly, you know, preparing for these types of things. The preparation during the days leading up to the storm was vital. The Saturday before the storm, Monmouth County issued a state of emergency. On Sunday, one day before the arrival of Sandy, the gymnasium at Monmouth University turned into an emergency shelter, and OEM's emergency operations center went into full activation. As soon as we hear the word hurricane in the Atlantic, uh, you know, that's when our emergency management team really goes into action, and people don't see that, you know, behind the scenes. The Monmouth County Police Academy became a staging ground for Sheriff's Office law enforcement, corrections, and communications. Additional manpower was brought in to prepare for the influx of 911 calls, and the aquatic unit assembled, preparing for the worst. Once the storm hit, an exceptional call to action was implemented. We received 7,800 911 calls in less than a 24-hour period. And out of them, there were over 900 water rescues and rescues wow. going on in that period of time. And I remember listening to the radio and to the staff uh, that night in Belmar because uh, the water was so high and, and down in the Union Beach, Kingsburg area. And so we had our dive team, Sheriff's Office dive team out in both of those communities. Uh, they, they were the hardest hit with rescues. OEM was operating around the clock in constant contact with Monmouth County's 53 municipalities to identify, coordinate, and dispatch resources as needed throughout the county. Law enforcement and corrections personnel from the agency served as a force multiplier in maintaining public safety. Sheriff's officers set up a command post in the Bayshore area, helped patrol coastal communities, enforced the countywide curfew, and provided security at the shelters. Since power was not restored for days and even weeks in some cases, these resources made available through the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office were invaluable, not to mention the outside help from other agencies. We had tremendous public-private partnerships, and uh, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention, you know, uh, Monarch, uh, Monarch Corporation, who has uh, ambulances. They supplied all our medical for our shelters. We sheltered 1,200 plus at Monmouth University, another 500 plus at Brisbane down in Wall Township with pets uh, down in Wall. And people came pouring into the donation drop-off center set up in Middletown at Thompson Park. We had weeks and weeks of donations uh, rolling in from all over, really all over the country. We had, I remember, a box truck come up from the south. I don't even mm -hmm. remember where it came from. We had supplies uh, uh, flown in from Massachusetts, one of the sheriff's yes. offices up there. Three distribution sites also opened. One was set up in the Bayshore area. The others were at Monmouth Park and the Circle Factory Outlet in Wall Township. All were set up and maintained by the Monmouth County Sheriff's Office. OEM continued to work closely with local and state emergency officials 
And once disaster aid was approved for Monmouth County, additional resources are made available for recovery efforts. On November 3rd, the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency, MEMA, arrived at OEM to assist. It was a 20-person team, and what they're geared towards is, you know, helping us with the planning process moving forward out of the storm. You know, they've been through this many times down there, so they're very well experienced in that. And they gave us a leg up in being able to prepare for the next step as we came out of the storm of, of, of this magnitude. Monmouth County continues in its recovery process from Superstorm Sandy. Well, you know, hopefully um, a lot of these communities will at least be, you know, somewhat put back together. The communities hit hardest are rebuilding. Some things will be in place, some boardwalks and things, but obviously, you know, with the magnitude of this disaster, we're probably a couple of years out from seeing things, you know, put back to the point where, you know, um, the, the communities are, are striving and, and, you know, back to as close to normal as they can be or the new normal, so to speak. Superstorm Sandy was no doubt the worst storm to ever hit New Jersey, with 12,000 homes destroyed or damaged in Monmouth County. Beneath all the devastation and hardship people endured, not one life was lost in Monmouth County from the storm. That was a credit to the planning, response, and recovery efforts of Monmouth County's OEM, its 53 local OEM coordinators, and the first responders of those communities. It was also a testament to how vital it is that emergency response be strong at every level. That takes all coordination. Uh, you don't want to say it's like an uh, orchestra and a, and a maestro, but, you know, that's Mike. Uh, he's the emergency management coordinator, and he's uh, responsible for coordinating all those efforts, bringing all those resources together. And for all of us here at the Jersey Shore, this disaster continues to reinforce a strong message. We're all New Jerseyans and we're all Jersey strong, but this kind of says it all about the effort to rebuild with the flags and the, and the sand pile and some different words on how people feel here at the Jersey Shore.